Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you're all well this fine day. Before we crack on with our presentation for today, please consider, if you like what you hear, hitting that subscribe button, the bell, you know all the shenanigans. Now, let's get out of the way. Whoa. Let's crack on with this video. So we have classic news. Yes, classic news. PTR. PTR has been data mined. Yes, now this is nothing official. I'm going to get that out of the way right now. Nothing has been said from Blizzard. The sniffers, the trackers, the things that find what has been updated in World of Warcraft have tracked that. Wow, classic. PTR has suddenly appeared. Now, granted, after what we had with Blackwing Lair, we kind of need a PTR. I know, I know, I know. Everything should be as it was in Classic, but for a better player experience, let's be honest, players are better now. They have better equipment with regards to keyboards, mice, the add-ons that they can use, and we're just fundamentally better players. Even the worst World of Warcraft player is probably better than the worst World of Warcraft player back in vanilla. So we're just better players. So letting these players go out there, get geared up to the nines, knowing exactly what to min-max, how to do it, using third-party websites and so on and so forth, and then letting them go into Blackwing Lair and absolutely destroying it in like 77 minutes or less. It's not a fun experience for players. It's not an enjoyable experience. So do these things need to be looked at? Do they need to be PTR tested as we PTR Mythic and other raid levels? They're all tested beforehand. Within certain you know, tolerances and everything else, they don't tend to do the last boss. But at least it's a chance to test it. It's a chance for Blizzard to get some feedback on data. So, I've got no problem with this. Now, you may be sitting there going, uh, Grim. I remember you doing a video saying that you're a retail player. Never going back to Classic. You weren't interested. You did it in Vanilla. Why would you go and do it now? And then I did a video saying, actually, Classic is quite fun. I do enjoy it. Would I main it? No. And primarily because I love the story. I love the next thing that's going to come out. And I, and I did the vanilla. I've seen the vanilla stuff. I want to see what the next thing is. Where are we going in Shadowlands? What's going to happen? I, I, I'm That's me. I hate going back and reading. I read the Wheel of Time series. And if I go back and start reading it. It's just a huge series of books. I can't start at the beginning. I have to start halfway through. And the kind of characters are set. And then I can follow their journey. So that's me. So that's why I'm in retail. That's why I like it. And, I, I, and I'll be honest, I like all the ease of life things. I like transmogging. I like flying mounts. I like all of that. So, that's me. The reason I am here discussing Classic with you, ladies and gentlemen, is because we did the Warcraft Reforged, Warcraft 3 Reforged, Let's Play. And in that, we were discussing the Extended Universe, which kind of up until now has been books and comics and things like that. So, for those of you who don't know, generally when we have an expansion end, there is a book that fills the gap. We've had, uh, was it the Sundering or the Shattering? We've had Before the Storm, the Arthas book. We've had books that come out and kind of fill in more of the world around us. Now, granted, Warcraft 3 was the Arthas story. But these books fill just a little bit more of the backstory about what's going on. What's the, motiva what's the motivation? Oh, easy for me to say. I'll put my teeth in. I am getting old. For that character. And we understand a little bit more about where it's going and how it's going to play out. But with things like Classic, with Warcraft 3 Reforged, we have the ability now to tell a different story. We have the ability to tell the story in a different means. You got my attention. And what I mean by that is Warcraft 3. Why can we not have, let's say, the story that's going to be told in Shadowlands. Sylvanas beating the Lich King and then going through into the Shadowlands and, and the things that are done in that book, the different characters. But we obviously have the story of Talanji, Zappy Boy, you know, Nathanos. We have the story of Illyria. Those stories could be told in Warcraft 3 campaigns you know, as DLC. That would be fantastic. That would be interesting to see. What we could also have, and the reason why I talk about this with Classic, is it's very easy to go forward. It's very easy to say, okay, then the next natural thing, which is what a lot of people are saying and why this has come up in my head. A lot of people have been saying, oh, this is it. This is TBC coming. This is Wrath of the Lich King coming. But it's lazy. It's lazy to do that. It's easy, don't get me wrong. But why not keep the levels the same, add new gear, and add some amazing new experiences with inside a classic framework? Why not have 
I don't know, you can meet Chromin, you can go and redo the, the kind of the timeline and the story around Broxigar. And he went way back in time. You know, st why not join the Army of the Light? I, I know these are crazy ideas and I know we're talking time travel, which gets very blurry and scary, and I understand that. Generally messes stories up. But there's an infinite number of things you could do with Inside Classic that you could keep that framework, but you don't need to go TBC. You can go to a different story. You can open up a number of portals. Kind of like a Marvel What If universe. What if this had happened rather than that? And you can go exploring. So what if, you know, you were in fact, you were one of the people that was one of the Alliance players that was on the other side of the portal. You know, when the portal was shut and you had uh, Cadgar and you had Illyria and Terillion and they were trapped there and they had to jump through other portals. What if you were an Alliance player and you were stuck with them? Or you were an, uh, an Orc and you were stuck and you had to get through. You know, things like that. And we've had it in scenarios in the Cabins of Time before, whereby your character appearance can change based on, you know you're in this scenario so it's not unheard of and it would make for an interesting idea just interesting way to tell different stories to see different things in the timeline now the other day i was talking to cuddles about timers in it and plus bearing with me this is relevant and how it's lazy and in the long run it actually hurts the game as it puts a band-aid over creating interesting repeatable content well we just put a timer and it makes this artificial artificial pressure and difficulty. It doesn't create something, or doesn't make something creative and challenging. It's just a timer. Now, the reason I apply this kind of logic, the timer logic to classic, is yeah, it's very easy. It's the timer option is just to say, okay, then, boom, there's TBC. Okay, then, boom, there's Wrath of the Lich King. There you go. That makes you happy, doesn't it? But of course, how does that pan out? How does that work? Is it going to be classic and then they bring TBC out and it just overwrites everything that went before it? It's not going to make classic people happy. TBC people are like, yeah, we got TBC at last. And then Wrath of Lich King comes out. And they, again, exactly this happens with retail. When Shadowlands comes out, whatever it brings will overwrite everything that went previously. So what happens when they bring Wrath of Lich King out and it overwrites TBC and overwrites classic? Okay, so why don't we have four different servers, four different versions of the game? We have classic, we have TBC, we have Wrath of Lich King, we have retail. We have all these versions. That'll work. That's a way better system. But again, it doesn't give anything dynamic. It's not anything interesting. It is just what we have had in the past. It is the band-aid. It is the timer option. Where you could truly, with some time, with some creative energy, create something that is absolutely fantastic. That absolutely says, here you go, classic players. We're going in a completely different direction. Bear with us. We want to work with the community on this. But this is going to be interesting. We're going to take this in different directions. And you're going to see things and experience things that retail players haven't seen. Retail players haven't been to. This is your world now. This is truly becoming your game. And it complements retail. And it complements the extended world things that we've had. We have the Chronicles. They can use a lot from that. But they will release TBC. They will release Wrath of the Lich King. Because it's the easy way. And also... It hits the private servers, which is realistically what they're after with this. Now, however they do it, whether they create four different games, whether they just overwrite classic with TBC and then ref the Lich King, who knows? But what we have to ask is, does Blizzard truly have the staff for that? Does it have the staff for four games? And given how they've treated Warcraft 3 and how 8.3 has been handled with corruption and just the level of content that we're going to have now for God knows how many months... Do we trust them to do either of these expansions, TBC and Wrath of Lich King Justice? Or, of course, we could just be blowing all of this out of complete <laughs> proportion, and they could just be adding Dungeon Finder or Transmogs <gasps> or The Shop. Could be adding all these things to Classic. And the PTR test is just to see whether they work and what people think of the brand new store mount you can have in Classic. <sighs> Nothing, my friends, is beyond Activision. I hope you all have a good day and I'll catch you all later. Enjoy!